there are four ways to delete a resource in Terraform. Let's have a look at all of them one by one. The first way is to remove the resource from Terraform code and then run Terraform apply. As you know, the Terraform runs on the principle of matching the desired state with the current state. So if we change the resource in the desired state, Terraform will try to reflect that in the current state. Now, when we say the desired state, it means that the code which we have written in Terraform in the current state mean what exactly is running on the destination. And destination could be such as AWS Cloud or Azure Cloud. Now, let's check the first example. In my code, I have these two resources in AWS. Both of them are EC2 instances. The first one is E1, which is a local name of this AWS instance type. And then we have E2, which is the second instance. So what we will try to do, we will comment this second resource, and then we will run the Terraform apply to see if Terraform removes it or not. Prior to this, to save time, I have already run the Terraform init command. Uh, to initialize the Terraform for this project. And by initialize, I mean that when we run Terraform in it, what it does is it downloads all the required plug, uh, required modules from Terraform registry or locally in our this directory. And it also initializes the provider. Um, by initializing the provider, it means that it downloads all the plugins related to that provider in, and in our case, as we are using AWS Cloud, so it will be downloading all the AWS plugins. So <clears throat> um, having said that, I also went ahead and ran that Terraform apply with auto approve option in this uh, destroy project, and it has created two resources. Uh, as you can see, AWS instance E1 and then AWS instance E2 will be created by this command. And when it completed, it added two resources. Now, if you want to see that whether they're present in Terraform state, we can run the command Terraform state list. This command shows us what exactly is present in our current state right now. So as you can see, we have E1 and E2 present. So now let's go ahead and comment out this E2 and then run Terraform apply again. So I'm in the VS code, so I'm doing control KC to comment this resource. And then now let's run first run Terraform plan to see what Terraform is going to do. So Terraform plan command is matching our desired state to the current state and then it will be showing us what would be done. So as you can see, as we have already commented out E2, it is telling us that it won't be adding or changing anything, but it will be destroying one resource. And that resource is specified by this red minus sign here. And just to double check, it is telling us that AWS instance E2 will be destroyed. One, uh, <clears throat> Uh, so one thing we could check here is we could simply go ahead and run Terraform apply. And then it should just delete that resource. It is taking a bit of a time. It is just running the Terraform plan command behind the scene, which runs a refresh. So just to save time, I'm going to say no here. The apply has been canceled. So this is the first way through which we can change, uh, we can destroy one of the resources in Terraform. Second way is the Terraform destroy command. If we run just Terraform destroy, it will destroy all the resources in our, uh, <coughs> sorry, in our, um, desired state and then match the current state. We can also target one resource in Terraform by using Terraform destroy target command. And let's destroy the E2 instance with this destroy command. So I'm going back to my terminal and then I will be running Terraform 
update this command just to make sure that I have that resource still in my state. It is so terraform destroy dash target and then target is G2 instance. destroy command first run the plan command ref refreshes the state and then it is asking me that whether i'm um, sure about this one thing before i say yes it is giving us the warning that resource targeting is in effect so that is fine i'm saying yes and now it is destroying the e2 instance <coughs> so when it is um, destroying it is not only terminating this instance from AWS side, it is also removing it from our state. And that state could be locally in our TF state dot file, uh, or it could be um, a remote state in S3 or in DynamoDB table, or there are various other options which we could use there. So, as you can see, the um, Terraform was successfully able to destroy this resource. And just to double check, we will check the state again with Terraform state list. And it should show us only one instance, and it does. That is good. OK, great. Uh, now let's check the next way of removing the resource. The next command is Terraform T. This is a very handy command. In the real world, scenario when you are working with thousands of instances and there are multiple teams and people who are managing and looking after the resources for example in aws there will be many occasions where people would be manually changing a resource in aws after you have created them through terraform so over the time some resources become so drifted or so different from what was originally created that you need to recreate them in order to recreate a resource which has drifted way over from their original shape, we can use the terraform taint command. What terraform taint command does, it deletes the resource in destination and recreate, recreates it as per desired state. What it means is that, for example, if I have created a AWS instance T2 micro initially through my terraform code, and later on someone uh, went into the console or through AWS CLI and changed it to, let's say, M5 large. And so what you could do, you could just come back to your Terraform. You could taint that resource. And then on the next apply, Terraform will delete that resource from destination and then recreate it as per your code. Now, let's see that in action. Let me go back to my terminal. Okay, so as we have um, this existing resource, AWS underscore instance dot E1, let's first check its state. If we want to check the state of a specific resource, we could use the Terraform state show command. I'm just using it for one resource here. So let's see what it does. It will show us the state of this whole instance. So this is the instance which is currently running. And as you can see, this instance is even and it has all of its parameter. Now let's mark this resource as tainted. I will just use taint command instant of state show. So the command is terraform taint AWS underscore instance dot e1 and it is taking a bit of a time okay it's done so resource has been marked as tainted now again check the state of this resource in terraform let's scroll up a little and now you can see it has marked is that tainted in the state but just marking as tainted won't do anything to this resource except just updating the state. 
if we um, want to first delete it and recreate it as per desired state, we would need to run the Terraform apply command. So before that, let's um, run the Terraform. <coughs> sorry, plan command to see what Terraform thinks now, because it will be matching the desired state with the current state. refreshing the state and now it is uh, telling us that it is going to destroy one resource and add one resource so as you can see there are a lot of changes here and it is saying that this resource is tainted so it must be replaced so i would just say terraform apply So now let's see um, what Terraform does. It should be first destroying this resource and then it would be recreating it. So as a first step, it is going to refresh that state. Now it is destroying it. It would take a bit of a time because whenever we run these Terraform commands, behind the scenes they go in and talk with AWS APIs. And sometimes there is a delay in that because um, normally in real world, when you're running these commands and API calls are being made to made to AWS or any other cloud provider, there are firewalls which sits in between. Then there is a lit network latency. So there is always a bit of a delay. Now, uh, meanwhile, I will let it run and we will go back to the next um, way of removing the terraform resource and then we will come back and check this third one okay let me go back to okay so we have checked the uh, terraform taint one the last way to delete a resource in terraform is through terraform state rm command what it does is that for example the use case here which it caters to is that someone has gone in and manually removed the instance or any resource from the provider or from the destination. Now, in that case, you need to match the desired state with the current state. And if you don't want Terraform to again recreate that resource, the first step which you should do is you should remove that resource from the Terraform code base. Then you should remove that resource from the state itself that could be local state or remote state so the command to do that is this terraform state rm and then resource type and its local name and if you don't know what exactly is the fully qualified name of this resource you can always do terraform list command to check that out so this way you can be sure that your uh, desired state matches with the current state so these are all the four ways. And now let's quickly go back to our terminal to see what Terraform has been doing. Terraform is still uh, destroying that instance. It is taking a bit of a time due to those API calls. So I will let it run and I will, um, I'm pretty sure this will complete. So, uh, and as you were talking, you can see that destruction has been completed and now it is recreating it the resource uh, due to that taint command. So this is pretty much it. If you have any other questions, any uh, feedback, please feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to answer that. Thank you very much. Bye.